Ukrainian ambassador to the United States. Is this is the chance for President Joe Biden to lay out his priorities before the newly sworn in Congress. Days ahead of Tuesday night's speech, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre warned that the speech is often reworked until the very last moment. But she said some topics are a safe bet. The significant economic progress we're seeing under his leadership, his economic vision that's building our economy from the bottom up and middle out, the historic pieces of legislation passed into law over the last two years, uh, which are creating good, uh, paying middle class jobs and delivering real results for people by fixing our roads, bridges, tunnels, lowering costs on uh, everyday goods. But says historian Jeremy Suri, this policy speech is also and always politicized. He spoke to VOA on Zoom. The politics matter for policy. So this is the opportunity the president has each year to try to set the agenda and to frame the public debate in ways that will benefit uh, him and his party, but also hopefully create pressures toward the policy goals that he has. So he said he expects Biden to revisit his previous remarks on the soul of the nation and what he sees as threats to democracy from the far right. The war in Ukraine is also likely to come up, as it did a year ago, when it was in its infancy and Biden spoke of the West's need to help the nation fend off the Russian invasion. Biden has also said his administration wants new laws on abortion, gun violence, and police reform. But he faces a challenge. Congress holds the power to pass laws, and the opposition Republican Party now controls one of the two chambers. New House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, who will take his seat behind the president on Tuesday, is locked in a debate with Biden over how to spend American taxpayer money. Republicans seek major cuts to government spending. I've been very clear. The current path we on, we cannot sustain. We've got to change the directory to put ourselves on a path to balance. How we get there will be our discussions. Ansari says people will be watching McCarthy's reactions as he sits behind Biden during the address. If he frowns, if he shows his displeasure, he looks dyspeptic. He looks like he's not cooperative. He looks like he's an extremist. But if he looks too happy to um, engage with President Biden, then, of course, he will alienate the far right in his party, the small group within his party and within the House who are demanding that he take on the president. This mix of politics, policy, pomp and personalities will be on full display when Biden speaks Tuesday night. Anita Powell, VOA News, Washington.